golden babies welcome or welcome back to my channel okay y'all so in today's video as y'all can already tell by that title and that thumbnail we're doing a little maintenance vloggy vlog vlog and i'm so excited because your girl is getting back a wig again i ain't had a wig in so long i'm so thirsty to get a wig in my head um i absolutely love these braids but they gotta go because i have a wedding to go to next week and i'm so excited um, I'm going to get my hair done like literally in two days and everything else is going to be in like six days from now. Let me cook. When I get my hair done, it literally will last me a good two weeks. Like I don't have to worry about my hair like coming up in the front. I don't have to worry about it like giving like, oh, I got to fix something for at least two weeks. So I don't want to waste getting my hair done because I do want braids right back. I'm literally just getting a wig for the sake of the wedding to like switch up my look for about two weeks so instead of me getting it next week and only having like spending time with the wig for like one week i'm gonna get it this week hopefully that makes sense if you know you know like get your money's worth basically so everything else is going to get done next week but my hair is getting done in two days so it's time to take out my hair y'all um if you are new here my name is Carrie Pace. I'm so sorry before I just start rambling. My name is Carrie Pace. I love you. Make sure you subscribe if you have not subscribed yet. Go follow your girl on the gram at goldencar underscore underscore underscore. And yeah, that's it, y'all. We got these braids and we're going to say goodbye to them. Um, I will be getting these very soon again because these were so cute. They're literally still cute in my opinion, honestly. Like, if I wanted to, you know, make them look very, you know, presentable right now, I could. I can wet them. And we're also going to say goodbye to $200 bundles in my head that we just about to throw away. know nothing about this this one you feel like dang my braids was really still cute should i have took them out they gotta go you know what i'm saying and this is also the part where it's like did i cut these too short <laughs> i'm not even finna do that to myself Okay, you guys, so now that I've cut the braids, um, I'm about to go ahead and start taking them down. Honestly, I'm not going to record much of this process because this is going to be a very, very, very long process because I have so many braids in my head. So let's go ahead and start taking them down. <laughs> that was so corny. Love you Okay, y'all, so it is literally the next day and I'm on the way to my hair appointment, y'all. My hair kind of did whatever while I was sleeping, so I don't really know. I brushed it out, so yeah, she can deal with the rest of it. Um, I'm super excited to be getting a wig install again because it's been a little minute and I'm not going to keep it in too long. Um, I have a wedding to go to in Michigan, so I kind of wanted to switch it up. I don't know if I told y'all that or not. Um, so yeah literally getting that done today and everything else is in the next like five days i want to say um we get our nails done i'm trying to figure out where to go to get a wax because european wax center is where i have been going lately and i haven't really been liking my waxes that much like i liked it the first time but i think i've went like three times in a row now 
and the last two I really wasn't a fan of so I'm about to try to find if I can go to like a black esthetician somewhere that does waxes and see if she can get me together um, which I never record my waxes but that is definitely on the agenda because it's time for another wax it's time for everything honestly so my eyebrow appointment is Tuesday my nails is Wednesday I know I do my own lashes and own dermal planning so realistically I just have to book for a wax that's the only thing that's like what I absolutely need to do my appointment today is at 1 30 and we are currently on the way and we get there directly at 1 30 so we're on perfect timing today you guys Okay, y'all, so as y'all can see, get into the hair. <laughs> I got me a bus down, side part, deep wave install, and I am currently about to head to the gas station, y'all, because your girl need gas, like, real bad. I got seven miles left in my car. Um, I usually don't do this, y'all, and don't ever do this. Like, do not ever wait to be on empty like that but i live by a gas station and every day i kept telling myself like i'll just go to the gas station right now i was just and i just never did so we're going to get gas really quick but the hair is done y'all and completed so i will be back on camera when it is time for the next thing in a couple of days because um my eyebrow appointment is on next week of tuesday my nail appointment is on Wednesday and like I told you guys like we have to figure out when I'm going to get waxed and I'm ordering my eyebrows so I mean not my eyebrows <laughs> I'm ordering my eyelashes now so I can make sure that I do them next week as well so yeah I will get to you guys very soon okay guys so today is definitely the next day and i am about to go to european wax center i know i told y'all that i didn't want to i still don't want to but i'm going to try another one because all of the wax herbs that i have found that i actually like their work they don't have any availability for next week which is understandable because it is like super last minute so um yeah we're about to go get a wax and there's no point in me like bringing y'all along with me because I feel like I never record. That is like, I'm not there yet on YouTube. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want to record me doing that. Eventually, I feel like I'll grow and be able to, but I'm about to just go get my wax, y'all. And I wanted to make sure that I let y'all know what I was doing. So, um, wax is off the list of things to do, okay? Okay guys, so it is currently a couple days later and I'm about to do my eyelashes and this is what they look like and I have to hurry up so don't mind me but we have an eyebrow appointment in about 30 minutes and I definitely feel like I can hurry up and do them so we're not going to talk, we're just going to get straight to it, okay? So I have been seeing a lot of you guys comment about my eyelashes recently and I don't know if you guys don't remember but... I have so many eyelash tutorials on my YouTube that it's insane. I have done um, probably about like four or five and I will start doing them again because y'all did love them. But if you guys ever want to learn, literally just go down my page and um, just click on one video. I have been doing my own eyelashes for around seven years since I was in the 10th grade. So it's kind of like 
I have went through so many different styles of eyelashes, so many different trials and eras, y'all. I literally have tried almost everything on my eyelashes besides bomb lashes, y'all. I don't really, I'm not a fan of those, but when it comes to fans or individual strips, I have done anything you could think of with my eyelashes. And um, now what I do is I'm really a cluster girly. Clusters are so pretty to me. I've actually never had extensions because I'm terrified of them. So I have just been doing my own and I have been loving them everywhere I go. People honestly always think I have on extensions and people always ask me who my lash tech is. It's me. You know what I'm saying? So if I could do it, y'all definitely could do it. Um, because when I first started this process, it took me three hours to do my own lashes. Now I could do my own lashes in 10 minutes if I lock in and focus. So um, it's really just about trial and error and keep practicing on yourself and you'll get better and better i know it looks hard but it's not the hardest thing in the world and um you can just tweak it to your style and however you like it currently i only use hair glue to apply my eyelashes because i love being able to uh, take them off and put them back on whenever i want to but i do want to stop doing that because we are not supposed to be doing that um so if you guys have any like glue recommendations to where I can put them on and they'll be strong, they'll last, but I also can take them right back off. Let me know. Help me help you help me. <laughs> okay, you guys. So this is what I got for my eyelashes. At least for right now, y'all, I filled them in as best as possible. And I just did this in literally 10 minutes. No exaggeration because I am currently a little far from my eyebrow appointment, but I did this in 10 minutes. So it looks good to me um honestly it actually looks very good um and if i have to when i get back after my eyebrow appointment i can like make a little bit of alterations um but right now i kind of like it not gonna lie so depending on when i get my eyebrows done depends on if i'll fix them but honestly they don't really need fixing i'm gonna zoom in one more time so y'all can see this is what me looking down and now looking at you guys it looks so Good, so we have to hurry up and go to our eyebrow appointment, okay? <laughs> Okay, y'all, so um, I'm back home. It's like a couple hours later. Um, but I was like, I never showed, showed them my eyebrows. I kind of just zoomed in, but I'm going to do the same thing, y'all. They're so freaking cute. They look absolutely beautiful, of course, as always. I got them tinted, so um, they're dark right now. And I'm hoping that they stay like this for at least two sunday monday because i do have a wedding to go to on saturday which is in a couple days so i'm hoping that it's just really 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 put together um tomorrow morning literally super early i have to be up because my nail appointment is at 8 30 in the morning and i'm also getting my toes done so i'm going to be there for a while so these are the nails before y'all because in the morning, I'm pretty sure I'm not going to like be super, 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 super talkative. But these are my nails. Currently, I have the almond shape. And honestly, I love them right now. So, I can show y'all my inspo for tomorrow. I want to do like... I have to turn my phone on, y'all. I be like having little breaks where I turn my phone off. And I be forgetting. I just been sitting here chilling though. I ended up talking to some friends earlier and then now i'm just watching the umbrella academy um i've been liking that show a lot it's kind of crazy honestly it's a lot going on in that show if you ready to like binge watch something definitely watch the umbrella academy on netflix they got a lot taking place but i'm about to show you guys i just sent it to my nail tech earlier so i can show y'all this is the nail inspo y'all Hold on. 
this is the nail inspo y'all i want them kind of pink with like the little lines and a little bow so if y'all don't know i'm a very simple girl when it comes to my nails the only time i do like extra stuff is because my nail tech be making me but i'm told her like i'm more on a simple wave right now like i was absolutely in love with these obsessed with these i think the shape looks very good on my fingers because i have very small hands and very small like fingertips so yeah i'll get to y'all tomorrow morning um and we just go go straight into another appointment like i'm not gonna come on camera and be like hey y'all i'm about to go to my nail point no next clip y'all will see me getting my nails done Okay, you guys so this is literally a couple hours later and i never showed y'all my nails so let me show y'all real quick because they are so pretty y'all look at my nails they are literally so freaking cute i am these probably are my favorite nails like i don't know if it's the shape i don't know if it's the bow i don't know if it's the pink but these are giving carrier like these scream my name literally like they're so adorable and they're so simple i think that's why i love them even more um but yes y'all these are my nails and i didn't end up showing y'all i also got french tip on my toes so this is what the nails are giving currently so yeah if this is not your first vlog you might be confused because like where's dermal planning i know y'all love when i dermal plant but to all my girlies out there, I am taking a break. Um, I'm trying at least to take a break because hair is growing back on my face. But I need to learn the differences between um, what's going on with why hair is growing on my face. Because I truthfully don't know. I know that when I first started dermal planning, it was because I got a dermal planning facial, y'all. Before that facial, I never grew hair on my face. And I'm being completely honest. I never had um, hair on the sides of right here or like on my chin um all i really remember having was like side burns i would say so um ever since i got that facial my hair literally grows on my face and i think i want to learn a little bit more before i just keep dermo planning if um i'm having any moments where it's like okay it's too much hair growing on my face like if i got a mustache or something i'll wax it but for the girls that know no you're going to grow hair on your face, but it should be, like, to a certain extent. It shouldn't be, like, anything crazy. And maybe social media is freaking me out. I'm not even going to speak it into existence of what I've been seeing lately with women growing hair on their face. Because I'm, I'm not going to claim that for myself. But I'm like, I need to take a break and see, like, how my face would just do if I stop dermaplaning or anything. Like, removing the hair off my skin. Um, I do love the way dermaplaning makes my skin look, but we're going to go without it without it for sure um so yes this is the conclusion of my maintenance video y'all y'all know i love this monthly self-care everything is put together i'm going to a wedding and i wanted to make sure i look good y'all know when you gotta go to a wedding you gotta pop out a show niggas like your husband might be there you know what i'm saying just playing but you supposed to look good at a wedding so everything is done i am literally going to michigan in a couple hours it's like 2 in the morning, and I'm supposed to be leaving and get on the road at 11. Is that going to happen? We shall see, because I'm about to literally edit this video right now. So I'm going to be up for at least 2 to 3 more hours. Because we kind of take creatives, you know. That's what we got to do sometimes. But enough rambling. I love y'all so much. I hope you guys think I look as beautiful as I do. 
Um, make sure I go follow your girl on the gram at goldencar underscore underscore underscore. Also, I'm new to TikTok and my TikTok is doing a little, you know, something, something. So go follow me on TikTok. Um, all of my names on social media is Carrie Pace, C-A-R-E-Y-A-P-A-C-E. -E. That's on Snapchat, Facebook, and Twitter. So if y'all want to go follow me on any of those, make sure I go do that. But I love y'all so much. Bye.